Hi there, Alex Hickey here with the next song in my Myth of Normal song project. This is another song for chapter 17, and it's about the fifth edition of the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, otherwise known as the DSM-5. Don't think the DSM-5 has probably inspired too many songs, but this is one. The song is a sort of unstructured a cappella song with uh, non-rhyming lyrics. Some of the material in the book lends itself to this type of song, and it makes a particular use of an extensive quote, and I'll put the page reference for that quote uh, in the notes below if you want to click on the link with along with the lyrics. I'll put that page reference if you want to read it for yourself, but I'm pretty sure I've given it word for word, and you can see it in the lyrics as well. The song is called The DSM-5. The DSM-5, the DSM-5 is the fifth edition of the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders that is compiled by the American Psychiatric Association. When published in 2013, Dr. David Kupfer, the head of the task force responsible for the book, stated in a press release, and I quote, in the future, we hope to be able to identify disorders using biological and genetic markers that can provide precise diagnoses that can be delivered with complete reliability and validity. Yet this promise that we have anticipated since the 1970s remains disappointingly distant. We've been telling patients for decades that we're waiting for biomarkers. We're still waiting, unquote. We're still waiting. How long will we wait for biomarkers sought for decades without looking at other alternatives? Is there a solution more elegant? There's no need, says Dr. Mate, to look any further than the trauma that people experience. Why look for the randomness of some genetic or biochemical determinant when it's easy to see how conditions like depression or anxiety are an understandable response to a hopeless or scary situation, a response that persists and even can worsen long after the event that sparked it. Thanks for listening.